up YouTube we are back in the video in this video I'm going over how to make how to go from zero coins to 1 million coins and all the methods how, how, how to do it make sure you guys like subscribe for more of this and I have a giveaway at 6 Eastern on PlayStation today for 86 overall in case you missed it champion I will be posting it on the auction for the cheapest possible price for one of you guys to try to snipe it to make some profit you guys get to choose wh whoever i put up so let's get right into this video if you have zero coins first thing to do go over to challenges i know challenges are boring but if you have zero coins you gotta have you have to do this go to often scheme challenges trials whatever player pro scheme challenges do all three games uh, third game you get a playbook pick arizona okay Pick the Arizona playbook, sell it on the auction house. You also want to go to each. You want to do like do go go look at all the expensive playbooks on the auction house. Let's go look at them right now. Playbooks. I know Arizona's is pro style. I don't know more. If Oregon's a different one. Do sell it for Oregon. Pick Oregon. Sell Oregon. It's playbook. Let's go look at Arizona. Off Arizona offense is where is it right here? It is twenty six thousand coins. That's Halfway to 50,000 coins, which is our first goal to get to. You get 26,000 coins. That's halfway there. Then you go look at, let's go look at Oregon. Is Oregon, if Oregon's not pro style, that's another one you can get. Let's check Oregon offense. Where's Oregon, Oregon offense? This is because of Henry and some other pros. Players like this playbook a lot. Where is this playbook? It's 15K. Is it pro style? Nope, it's spread. If you do spread solos for offense, Pick Oregon. That's 15k. So you already have like 40k out of your 50k that I want that I would say to get before you start doing anything else. Okay. Then we have a playbook like. Let's think. About, let's go with another playbook. Let's go with like Alabama. Alabama's defense. It's a 4-3-5. There might be some other better 4-3-5 playbooks. We just go check around the check around the market for playbooks. But this is a 7k playbook. Let's just say. Let's help with the offense. Offense is a. Multiple zero, which go do your multiple multiple solo offense solos. Tends to sell the playbook for 10k, so your defense for 7k. You're already you're over 50k already, uh, and that probably takes you max of 20 minutes to get all those challenges done. Then, what do you want to be doing? I know this sound. I know this can be very. This might sound really stupid. It might be very boring. 50k coins is what you're gonna be doing. Is you're gonna be going, you're gonna be flipping, most likely probably 75 to 79 overall players. Yes, you could pro you could flip 8 to 81s if you want, but let's like you just want to go around, look at the more, look what the prices are going for. Like example, center right now, 79s are going go for 15k. Or if you want to check out the overall market, you have to go down to check the 81 overall set. Check what 78 unfiltered goes for. 78 unfiltered right now. Go for around 6,000 coins. So you want to get them for around 5, 4 or 5k per. You have a 79s right here. 79s go for 7,500. So you want to get your 79s for like 6k. Okay. You How you filter this down. You sort by, you sort by 75 to 79 overall player. Like this. And then you want to go position by position. I'm, I'm, that's, what is, that's what it was before. I'm pretty sure this works. Maybe something, okay, wide receiver does not work. But I guess if you want to use the wide receiver, you can type a letter in, like, type a random letter, like letter Z, okay? See, you just want to, like, there's a 79 for 6K. I said you can buy, I said there's 7,500, buy for 6K, sell for 7,500. That's, that's like, what was it, 750, 750 profit? I mean, yes, yeah, not great profit, but it's profit. Profit is profit at the end of the day if, if you're a low coin stack. You need all the profit you can take early on. You can go look around each, each position. You can type different letters in. If the filter has too many cards, I guess cards this filter has too many cards. But there might still be cards there sitting here that are cheap, like that card for sixteen. No, I don't think that. that's not a snap. But let's go look at maybe like a quarterback because quarterback less flooded. Let's check. Quarterback is a little bit less flooded. So you just want to go look around. Run, run the market looking for these cards. The next, and like you, you should be able to get some cards eventually. 
And once you get once you get run all your coins, you go play some more playbook solos or some other solos if you're not, if you don't have your playbooks. Continue to get coins until you get. Another another method you can be doing while you're at this point, but it's also be a method that's gonna carry on. Okay. You have the 80 to 81 filter right here. Because your low coin, let's say you have like you're probably gonna be at 70, 80k, let's say right now. You can you can just sort of go position by position. What position you want to look for? You want to look for a right tackle, center. You can look for the through the whole line, whole line, just in general players. Try to get some snipes. That for junior right there, about for 20k, you can sell for 28. It's a pretty nice profit. Just want to go position by position. You go tight end because tight end is not overpopulated. I don't think yet. What if it might be? It actually might be overpopulated. So if you want to look at tight end, you have to go by programs, which kind of sucks. Or, just like what well, we did with the golds, we go look at this dude right here. Let's go put a, let's go put an M. So you see the only time with the letter M in their name. So it filters it down a little bit, and you see we do get a we do get a more like we can get we see, see you can see other cards for cheaper like this dude right here. You weren't able to see him before because how many cards are on the market? If you want to do this for like a different one. Like you try, maybe do a quarterback if you want. If you want to filter out some quarterbacks, this filter might be still might be full still, but you filter on some cards, which is very helpful to be doing. Because some of these filters are really flooded, and it is very helpful to be trying to filter down on these filters. The old line, my personal opinion, is the safest, like the is like the best to be doing because they uh they have they have some pretty high prices and they actually do pop up. I know it sounds crazy that you can actually profit on a lineman, but they actually do pop up. Cards pop up. But you want to go position by position. Looks like we're not really getting anything right now, but I guess I'm not lucky in this video this time. Then, after you want to be doing this until you get, um, what's it, like two, three, four hundred K. I know it might take you, it might take you a day. It might take you a few hours. It might take you a day. It might take you two days. While you're in the middle, if you're on the coins, go to play some solo challenge, play some online, do whatever you want to be doing. Next method. You can stay on the 8 to 81 method if you want, but you can also upgrade to A to A3s. You can go position by position and flipping again. And you just go like look look just look around. Look, we want to go you want to go look at unfiltered prices for remember, you also want to look at unfiltered for 80 to 81. Unfiltered right now is 27, 840, so we want to be buying cards for 22. 23 21k some cards do go for more some old like old linemen go, do go for more if you want to buy a regular 83 a uh, cheap 83 sell them back for 39k so probably want to give them for 33. like wide receiver right here you just want to buy if you, you scroll down and you're looking around you see a3s on this filter are 60k so if you get a3 on this filter for like 50 like for, like for 45k you can buy it sell it back for 60. make some good profit some pretty decent profit right there you just want to go position by position. My, it is very tedious. I know. But the only way to make coins in this game is you have to be you have to be um, patient and tedious when you're buying cards. You can't just buy anything you see. Like I can't just buy this card. Just I can't just buy a random card just because I feel like it. It's not how it's not how the flipping works. Many people many people will get impatient. But you'll have, you'll have hours where you might we make you might make 200, 100, like two, three hundred K, but you almost might have hours where you make twenty K. It sucks, but you have to fight through the you have to fight through the bad hours to get to the good hours. How that's how the game works. It's what the, this is what it, that's how it is. Sometimes t times are tough in this game, but just fight through it, and I know you'll I know you'll be able to get you'll be able to profit eventually. It might just take time. Also, make like when you're. When you have when new content comes out, make sure you figure out a plan around new content. I'll probably have videos up about what to do with the content. If I don't, you might have to watch some other people, or you can formulate your own plans on how to attack the content that's out. So, like example, we have in case you missed it program that came out. Uh, what what I what was probably a, a very effective was people people were probably be able to attack the these new cards. Like for example, I know, like you, could, like I know we were just talking about eight to eight threes, but eighty to eighty ones 
like look at his center dude. His center dude got over 40k. You tell me during the reels this card was going for like cheaper. People weren't throwing this card up for like 10k, 15k. Same as this dude, he's like 17k. You tell me people weren't throwing up for 10k? People were definitely doing that. I mean, maybe they weren't, but I'm pretty sure people were doing that because people are very tempted to sell cards off for cheap default actually looking what the real prices are. I feel like staying at the A2 to A3 range is probably 80, so anywhere from A80 overall to A3 range is probably the best way to maybe may, be making your coins all the way to a million. But if you want to take some risk, I mean, you might use you might do some stupid stuff. You might try some recruit packs out. You might try some team packs out. I mean, team packs aren't stupid, but you might try out some recruit packs. You might try out some other stuff. But you could also try out the 84 overall players. This filter is very. It is a very high risk, high reward filter. You you have hours where you make tons. You have hours where you won't even see a card. This is how this filter works. I don't know. I don't. I don't really do this filter because I don't really. I don't like. I don't like waiting hours upon hours to see a card. I know I am from 2K, which I have had to sit for hours, for hours and hours for cards, but I'm just not doing it anymore because I don't know. But. I don't know. I mean, you could do this filter. I mean, you could probably you could actually probably snipe eighty five. Like, like when Ultimate Alumni comes out on Friday, you might you might be able to send the filter when people are opening. People are gonna be doing sets and all that stuff, and just, maybe they just throw their cards up for cheap for you guys. Like even like the eighty six. Like, like imagine you're sitting on the game, you're just refreshing the filter, you're just chilling, with, watch some YouTube, chilling with your favorite TV show on, and you're refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. And you just see a Derwin James pop for 300, 400k, like 300, 400k. Bang! You snap that card, sell back for 600k. And you're like, let's go. I just made 140k while watching my favorite, while watching YouTube, or watching Netflix, or watching whatever you want to watch. I like, guess that's, that's a nice feeling. It might, but you might not get it for a long time. It's the only problem with these doing these high, the, these high filters. But if you're doing these low, lower filters, like. Like these A to A, A to like A to A three filters, you have more of a chance just to be getting cards more consistently. Also, tips for these some of these cards like this quarterback filter right here, it is flooded because there's two quarterbacks, so you want to go you go to the catalog, click on one of the cards in the catalog, click and you click X on them, and it's by only that card. So then you see only him, only that card, or you, I guess you also sort by team. But for legends, you have to do sort by in the catalog because all the legends play for the same team and same their same player and all that stuff. So you have to sort by the catalog for that. It's like you can just do this over and over. You click on the card, back out, and it refreshes the filter. You just click on the card again. If there's something there, you refresh and refresh, refresh. If you want to use lower filters with the new cards, sometimes these might work. Sometimes these might not work. To be honest, right now. Right now, what I've been looking at, Legends actually have been the best recently for just doing the 80 to 80 ones. He's literally all you do. You go in here, click X. There might be a card in here that's been sitting there for five, six, seven minutes. That's, that's a snipe. Earlier they were. It's almost midnight when I'm recording this, so yeah, there is um obviously less cards in the market. Less people, less people are in the process of, sell, of selling cards because it's late. But during the day, when stuff more is stuff is more popping, there's gonna be more cards popping up on the market, and this should be able to work better. But those are all my favorite methods on how to get up to a zero to a million coins. Make sure you start with playbooks, do your solos first. Number two, flip your gold cards, flip some low 80s, like go eight to eighty ones if you want to, and play your like, while playing your playbook solos in the middle of while stuff is selling. Then you want to go up to the eight to eighty one filter again. Us exclusively get out the golds unless you really like golds on us. Like if golds are really good for you, keep on the golds, okay? If you find a filter that's really good for you, stay on. There's no reason to get off if the filter's making you plenty of profit. But the more coins you get, the higher filter you can do. Like if you get two, three hundred K, you do you can do you can start doing A to A three if you want. If you get six, seven hundred K, you can do A four to eighty five if you want. And you just like just keep raising up your filters if you want. It's, your, it's really your choice. Just find a filter that's good for you. It's the main thing. I'm just giving you a lot of options you can do. Just find whatever your favorite filter is. And 
yeah, make sure you just like, subscribe. If you guys want more, comment below. Yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace.